That was one of the ugliest swings of the entire year. Perfect pitch. Oh my God, Giolito, that's filthy. Don't let that fall done. So close, but so far. How is, wait, wait, wait a minute. I thought that was a changeup. Yo, on Moncada, it's way out of here. This is the biggest at bat of the game. Come on, you gotta get back. You gotta get back. You gotta get back to first base. Back with another all-time team build here today on MLB The Show 21. In the previous video, we used the all-time Milwaukee Brewers, and we were able to get a win. We only won one to nothing, so it was definitely more of a pitcher's duel. So I'm hoping for a little bit more offense in this game. And since the Brewers won the National League Central, let's go ahead and jump over to the American League and the champions of the Central in 2021, the Chicago White Sox. Now, the White Sox are a very interesting franchise. They've been around since 1901, so they're well over 100 years old but they only have 11 postseason appearances they do have six pennants and three world series titles their most recent came in 2005 when they swept the astros in the world series but before that they hadn't won since 1917 and of course when you're talking about the white Sox, you got to bring up the black Sox scandal of 1919 in which eight members of the chicago white Sox were accused of throwing the world series against the reds fun fact in response to the black Sox scandal they actually implemented the first commissioner of baseball and one of his first acts was to give the eight members of the Black Sox a lifetime ban from the sport. But we're talking over a hundred years ago at this point in the modern day, the White Sox right now are pretty solid. They've made the postseason in two consecutive seasons, winning the division in 2021. As of right now, going into 2022, I still feel like they're the favorites to win the division again. And I'm excited to celebrate the White Sox franchise today in MLB The Show. And this is my all-time White Sox build for MLB The Show 21. We got Yasmani Grandal at catcher. We have Frank Thomas starting at first base. Frank has to start on this team, but you of course have to acknowledge Jose Abreu and especially Paul Canerco. It always sucks because Paul Canerco can never start on the all-time White Sox because of Frank Thomas and he never has any secondary positions. His number is literally retired with this team, but he has to ride the bench because of the limitations in Diamond Dynasty. Yeah, I guess I could play him in left field or something and just try to hide his defense, but I don't want to do that. Let's go to the middle infield. Tim Anderson and Luis Aparicio. We got Yoan Moncada at third base. The outfield is Adam Dunn, Minnie Minoso, and Harold Baines. The rest of the bench is Larry Adobe, Eloy Jimenez, and Ken Griffey Jr. No, I'm not starting Griffey on this team. He played for like 40 games there. The starting rotation is Chris Sale, Tom Seaver, Lucas Giolito, Lance Lynn, and Carlos Rodon. And the bullpen is Gossage, Kimbrell, Hendricks, Dibble, Soria, Tapera, Robertson, and Canely. I'm probably going to start Chris Sale, even though I am thinking about starting Giolito because there's no lefties in the pen and it would be kind of nice to be able to use Chris Sale out of the pen and Carlos Rodon out of the pen so I think I'm going to do that I'm going to start Giolito just for the fact that I can use Chris Sale as a lefty in case we're in some matchups late game for the fit check we got the White Sox road 1917 unis the year they won the World Series and I don't know about you guys but I love these alternate homes from 1999 I love the pinstripes with the black sleeves I think it looks so clean and in my opinion one of the cleanest team bat skins in the game the Chicago Chicago White Sox bat skin. Yo guys, before the video starts, I just wanted to let you know that G Fuel is back up to 30% off using code Coogs. It lasts all weekend. So if you're looking to try some out or restock, use code Coogs. You'll save 30% off your whole order. Hey, we're the home team. We're starting Giolito. Like I said, I don't think Giolito necessarily deserves to be the starter on this team. I'm doing it because of the matchup limitations that we're going to have late game. So don't go crazy on me in the comments. But also feel free to let me know how you would have built the White Sox team differently. Would you have started Paul Canerco in the outfield? Let me know. I like it, Lucas. Good start, baby. Oh, another plug I want to tell you guys about. If you guys don't know, I have a podcast. It's called Inside the Show. I do it with Scuffy McGee. We're not really doing it a lot right now in the off season because there's really not much to talk about. But we actually did an episode where we interviewed Lucas Giolito on the podcast. So if you'd like to learn a little bit more about Lucas Giolito off the field, then click the link in the description. I'll link the uh, episode of the podcast right there. And subscribe to the podcast too. We're coming in hot with content when 22 starts getting some news. Weird slider time. Weird slide. Is it just me, or have there been a lot of fluke hits in Diamond Dynasty lately? Like, I, I I know they happen a lot, but I feel like more than normal, I'm seeing just a ton of very early, very late timing hits. It's crazy. I don't want to throw a fastball to Babe Ruth. I'll just use that slider. That was perfect. Get up, get up. No, no, no. Come on. Cut it off, Harold. Cut it off, Harold. Don't let him get two. He's going to be at third. That's fine. We've got two outs. Go after this next hitter. 
Two, two. Come on, circle change. Work your magic. Let's go. Throw him out. Throw him out. Boom. Hey, Mini Minoso went down to get that one. No, 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 no. Forget that at bat happened. Move on to the next one. That was one of the ugliest swings of the entire year. Bad swing, dude. Really bad swing. Kind of nervous about this fastball into mantle. Frank, out of boy. Way to be aware. Ooh, right in the shift. Tim Anderson. TA7. Woo! That was a long throw. Oh, come on, dude. How? Like, what about that it makes Tim Anderson mess up? All right, cool. It didn't hurt us, but I'm just worried that one of those eventually will. Come on, man. Put the PCI on the ball, please. Ooh, this is rough, man. He's pitching well with Burns. Oh, my God. We had the right idea, but we still hit it to the guy on that side of the field, man. Yeah, he's, he's pitching well with Burns right now. I, I just... I can't pick him up yet. Maybe the deeper in this game we get, the more I'll be able to get familiar with his sequencing. But right now, I, I've, I've guessed wrong on almost every single pitch. Don't let that fall done. Come on, Adam. Hey, Adam, baby. Come on, Anderson. Let's go. Dude, that's a tougher play than the ground ball in the last inning. Off the end of the bat. Come on. Spot this. Perfect pitch. Oh my God, Giolito, that's filthy. All right, the real question is though, do I leave Giolito in? Cause he's due up third this inning. He's pitching well, but I also don't really want to push my luck. And I've got enough arms in the bullpen to, to be okay, I think. I think I might, I think I might pinch hit with him. Right there, dude, just barely off with Adam Dunn. Nope, that is not going to get the job done. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to take out Giolito. Let's hit with... Let's go with Larry Doby. I'll save Griffey for a later appearance. Let's go with Larry Doby right here. Ooh, so close, but so far. Joaquim Soria. It's all good. It's all good. We have that. That's all good. Don't let that fall done. Come on, man. I know you're not that fast, but you got it. Let's go, baby. See what I mean, though? See how much weak contact is happening lately? Second time through. All right, we got to see Corbin Burns a little bit better. I'm going to take first pitch. I Oh, that's ball four, man. All right, I got to stop thinking so much at the plate. I just got to sit on something and relax. I thought that was a changeup. Well, looks like we might be having another pitcher's duel in back-to-back -back all time team videos. Come on, Frank. Don't let that fall. Attaboy. I gotta get Corbin Burns out of this game somehow. I gotta get like he needs to get base runners on for the bottom of his order so he can be forced to take out Corbin Burns because I really, really don't feel comfortable at all. Yeah, like offensively, it is rough right now. So it's almost like I want him to get some some rally going here at the bottom of the lineup. Oh, no, 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 no. Is this not leaving? How is... Wait, wait. Wait a minute. Wait. He didn't get rewarded with a homer on that pitch. I don't know where his PCI was, but it had to be in the dirt. That's the only thing I can think of. Dude, why can't I see that sinker with two strikes? Come on, come on, be a hit. Please give me something. There it is. Yes! Yoan Moncada, it's way out of here. Finally, we got something going. That was a bomb. 450. Got to go to the sinker with two strikes, right? Yep, there it is. I knew it was coming, and I still can't see it. All good. All good. We got to run. Got to keep pitching well. I think I'm going to take out Soria and go to Dibble. Soria's pitched two innings. He's pitched well, but I'm going to change it up a little bit. Nice pitch. That's unhittable. Okay. Ooh, I could have went to third right there. 
I can still go to third. Okay, I just can't let him score. All right, that's fine. That's fine. I would have honestly let him get back to third base. The whole point was just to not let him score there. Aparicio, drop. Let's go. We got a hit on the sinker. All right, we're going to the bench again. Uh, this time, I'm going to go to Griffey. Another looking strikeout. That's just a filthy pitch, dude. 2-0. Let's go hit and run right here. Let's send him. Oh, you got to get back. 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 You got to get back to first base. We're good. Oh, that was way closer than I thought it would be. Damn, if that would have fallen, he probably scores. No. Oh, what could have been in that inning? I hate this, bro. I hate only having one run leads. Because you know it could just happen at any point. I got to get nine more outs. And at any point, he can just randomly get a perfect, perfect. Hit it over the fence. Or you can get a little rally like he's about to start right here, I bet. I just hate being in these positions, man. I hate one-run games. That was such a tough at-bat. He fouled off like four really good pitches. Uh, second and third, nobody out. This is exactly what I wanted. All right, I got a perfect throw, but we'll see here. Perfect throw. Oh, we held him. Let's go. Okay, interesting spot. I am going to walk Fernando Tatis Jr. because this is going to force him to take Corbin Burns out of the game, which is good for me. Going to Vlad, but now it's forcing me to make a big pitch. Changing it up, I'm going to Ryan Tapera. He's got that cutter that I like. This is the biggest step out of the game. Come on. Two, two, two. I should have went home to first. We got it. Let's go. The double play. It all worked out, and we got Corbin Burns out of the game. I definitely should have went home to first right there, though. That would have been way smarter. Now Eric Gagne is in. Oh, we got this, dude. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay. That was good. Boom. Yasmani Grandal. Perfect on the splitter. What are we looking at here? 381. What a beast. Ooh. Why did that seem like it was so much faster than it was? Dang, dude. That fastball is, like, quick. Come on, 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 come on. Oh, what a play from Ryan Tapera. You guys see that? Yeah, not this time. Not this time. That's a great pitch. Aparicio, cross the diamond, bang. Oh, I thought he was for sure going with the heater high and in. Oh, no. All right, here we got to go Paul Canerco. I know uh, Abreu is a little better against lefties, but we got to go Canerco. Ah, uh, you hate to see it, Canerco. You really do. Yeah, there's just nowhere to do like a double switch or anything. So we're just going to Gossage for the save. Got him. That's one. You think you'll even see this? I don't. And that should do it. Adam Dunn makes the catch and the all-time White Sox get the dub. Once again, not an offensive heavy game at all. I only got four hits in this entire game. Two runs was all I needed. And you know, I'm not feeling great about not scoring a lot in back-to-back -back games. I've only scored three runs in my last 18 innings of all-time teams. But on the other side of that, the glass half full approach, I also haven't allowed a run in my last 18 innings. Back-to-back -back shutout wins. Really, all this was was Yasmani Grandal and Yoan Mankata going yard. Giolito was solid. Soria was great. Dibble was great. Gossage was great. Overall, this was just a solid win. Wish I would have hit a little bit better, but I'll take the dub. So down in the comments section, let me know what you thought about the White Sox. How would you have built this team differently? Would you have moved Canerico around? Would you have moved... Mini Minoso around. Would you have taken out somebody? Let me know your thoughts. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.